Hi, my name is Brandi Smith, and I'm a Stephen minister and one of the Stephen leaders here at South Point Church. I hate being on camera, so I really hope that you'll stick around while I try and struggle through this. So, I was raised in a mostly Christian household. I was lucky to have two great parents who kept me in church almost all of my childhood. And I was also lucky that I had both sides of my family who were very strong in their faith and who were committed to God. I had two grandmothers who stressed the importance of remembering to read my Bible, to be in church every time the doors were open, to pray every night, and just really to foster that relationship with the Lord. So I guess you could say between my parents and my grandparents, I grew up with the basics of being a Jesus follower. As a young adult, I had a few hiccups along the way, just like most of us do, I'm sure, and I made a lot of decisions that weren't so great, just having to do with how I was living my life and what type of things that I was allowing to control me. Now, I'm the type of person who absolutely loves to have control over every aspect of everything, which is a whole other set of problems, but suffice it to say, when I felt out of control by my circumstances, uh, I did not make the best choices in trying to regain that control. So uh, God still came along beside me and stepped in and got me out of my dark places. And then later on, he sent, sent me my husband, Walt. It was unexpected. Uh, we were both older and we had both had failed relationships in the past, but we were both um, committed to finding somebody to live life with and we committed early on after we met to giving our relationship to the Lord and letting him control whatever life might throw at us. So we agreed to put him first and see what happened. In turn, he blessed us by giving us our son Garrison and he really has continued to bless us throughout our marriage. That being said, um, we've been together 17 years and it hasn't always been easy. We've had military moves, we've had medical issues between the two of us, our son has had medical issues, and there have been a lot of other things that have tried to get in the way and get into our heads and keep us from the most important thing, which is ultimately God. Uh, one of the hardest things that we struggled with really was finding a church home during all those military moves. So we would church hop a couple times each place but if we didn't feel somewhere where we felt at home we'd just stop and we wouldn't attend church so when we moved here to Maryland we were determined to find a church home that would fit us and that we would feel comfortable in and we did continue to church hop for a little while but when we ended up at South Point one Sunday we knew right away that that was the perfect fit for us we really felt at home and we felt like we belonged there so I joined Stephen Ministry at South Point in 2011, and honestly, that's been one of the biggest blessings in my life. Um, it's really been a game changer for me. Through training and helping others, I learned how not being in control is okay. And I still struggle, but it seems to be more manageable. Um, I've grown closer to God during these years because I've been surrounded by people who encourage me and who support me and who know that we're all broken but that we're all in it together so i encourage each one of you just to step outside of your comfort zone listen to what god is telling you when he's nudging you to try something new it won't hurt anything and it might actually change your life